there are many powerful molecules inside of you. BPC-157 being one of the most powerful. Found naturally in the stomach, this compound has the ability to regenerate the body. From healing joints and muscles, to improving brain health, to restoring balance of the stomach, and overall heals the body, all while working with the body and supporting overall vitality. Is all of this true? Is BPC-157 really that impactful? Can it possess that powerful healing properties? Well, let's take a deep dive into BPC-157 while I share all my research and my thoughts on this peptide. Before I continue, I must say guys, I'm not a doctor. All this information is purely educational as my thoughts and opinions on the subject. For any medical concerns or questions, please consult a doctor. Do not listen to this video. So what is BPC-157? BPC-157 stands for body protective compound and it was actually discovered in the human gastric juice. And BPC-157 is often called the Wolverine peptide because it has so many healing properties. It's one of the most well-used and well-researched peptides, one of the most OG peptides. And BPC-157 is neuroprotective, helping with the brain, cardiovascular protectives, helping with the heart, musculoskeletal protectives, helping with joints, ligaments, and muscles, and as well as gastroprotectives, helping with the stomach. So you can see it really targets many aspects of the body. So how does BPC-157 work? Well, it has so many benefits, so it's really hard to say the exact mechanism of action, but this is from my research. So pretty much BPC-157 activates the regeneration properties of the body and as well inhibits the growth inhibiting effects. So pretty much it just helps the body just regenerate faster. And this effect occurs all throughout the body because BPC-157 works on the brain and gut axis. So it's helping with the brain, the stomach, the heart, all throughout the body. In addition, another key mechanism of BPC is that it stimulates angiogenesis, which pretty much is the formation of new blood cells, which that has a host of other benefits with helping the body heal and recover faster. So what are the research benefits of BPC-157? Well, it's pretty vast, but I think the easiest way to summarize it, which I've already said, is that BPC-157 is neuroprotective, helping with the brain, cardiovascular protective, helping with the heart, musculoskeletal protectives helping with joints, ligaments, and tissue, and as well gastroprotectives are helping with the stomach. But to go more detailed, BPC can help with wound healing, help with soft tissue repair, help with ligament damage, help with bone damage. It can improve digestion. It can improve cognitive health. It's actually often used with subjects with TBI or traumatic brain injuries. It can help regulate blood pressure and it can help enhance growth hormone receptors. The list can, can go on, but as you can see why BPC-157 is called the Wolverine peptide. So what are the side effects of BPC-157? From my experience, the most common I've seen has been water retention, which quickly diminishes once BPC-157 is no longer being used, or that is what I experienced, and as well talking to other subjects. So now let's go into the research dosing and cycling. And this would things are kind of cool because other peptides don't have as much flexibility. But for my research, general use is anywhere from 400 to 600 micrograms. However, though, BPC-157 can be used in many different ways, from pill, intranasally, injecting, so many different ways. So for oral use, I've seen 500 to 1,000 micrograms. And then for focusing on an injury, like a joint or a muscle, actually doing 200, 300 micrograms in separate doses so that it has a higher chance of healing faster. And the cycle length varies greatly on why BPC-157 is used, but the main goal is to heal the body. So once it's been healed, there's no longer need to use it in my opinion, but if the plan to cycle for a long time, because maybe the condition needs longer to heal, I would do three months on, one month off, reevaluate, and then repeat that. And then to summarize on the dosing, anywhere from 400 to 600 microgram. Now let's go into research timing and benefits. So this is kind of cool because I believe the intention of BPC-157 will change the best time to use it and the best way to actually apply it. So if my main goal was to work on my brain health, which BPC is often used for that, I would do intranasally in a fasted state. If the main goal was to recover from a sports injury, I would inject around the area or just use an injection over an intranasal spray on oral form. If a main goal was to work on my stomach health, because that's an often time why BPC is used, actually helps with ulcers, I would do 500 to 1000 micrograms in a pill form in a fasted state. 
Now here are some noteworthy supplements I would take with BPC-157. The first would be adding in some kind of anti-inflammatory, which I believe is the most reason why people use BPCs more for like joints, muscles, and inflammation. So I'm thinking of like fish oil, curcumin, and the last main one would be some kind of natural diuretic because one side effect of BPC is water retention. And I believe a natural diuretic like dandelion root could be a great way to negate some of that. Now here are some other peptides I would stack with BPC-157. First would be some kind of growth hormone combo, such as a GHRP with a GHRH, because a GHRP will release growth hormone and a GHRH will create it. And additionally, BPC-157 actually enhances the growth hormone absorption. So it's actually one of my favorite combos to actually add growth hormone peptides with BPC. My favorite being ipinephrine, testosterone, and BPC-157. That's one of my favorite cycles to run. Another note with a peptide would be T TB4. TB4 and BPC-157 are heavily paired up together because they have such a synergistic effect. Both TB4 and BPC-157 are powerful healing peptides. Another common peptide would be KPV. KPV is another powerful healing peptide and it's common paired with BPC-157. Another one would be LL37, which is commonly used for immunity. And as you can see guys, there's so many peptides you can combine with BPC-157 because it's so versatile and it has such a wide effect on the body. Another common peptide would be IGF-1 LR3, which that really helps the body with building muscle and BPC is great for recovery. Another combo would be adding in any other neuropeptides or peptides to help with brain health like Selenc, CMAX, Superlysin, because BPC-157 helps a lot with brain health. So let's go into the pros of BPC-157. The first pro, it's one of the most well-used and well-researched peptides. The second pro, it can be used in many different forms, from oral, from intranasal, from injecting. And the last pro is that it has a lot of powerful regeneration properties. There are tons of people and subjects talking about how much they benefited from it, and even what we know about it seems to be very promising. So what are the cons of BPC-157? The first con is that it can be expensive because it's one of the most well-used and well-known peptides. There's just a higher demand for it and that just increases the price. And the second con is just the water retention, but overall it's a pretty amazing peptide or it's a pretty amazing discovery in my opinion. So what's my thoughts on BPC-157? Well, I have extensive experience with BPC-157, probably three to four years, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's actually one of my favorite peptides to stack with growth hormone peptides. It's just, it's just an amazing peptide to add to that. And overall, I have nothing really bad to say about it. The only thing is I did experience water retention, but as I said earlier, like I just reduced the dose or stopped it, it went away. And as well, I actually have a lot of experiments coming soon to actually test out with different forms of BPC, such as intranasally and oral, because I only use it with injecting. So overall, I don't have anything negative to say about BPC-157 just yet. I really like it and it's one of my favorite peptides and first peptides I ever used. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Oh, one last thing. If you like what I do, you want to support the channel, please check out my book, Peptides Made Simple. It's an amazing book. I put tons of value in it and I really did my best to make it as cheap as possible. So check it out on Amazon. If you like what I do, you want to support the business and support my channel. All right, stick around for future videos. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon.